There has to be a chocolate syrup promotional night coming up, doesn't there? Well, if they're going to send that jerky jersey to Cooperstown, they've got plenty of work to do. <laughs> Dan Coco, it's all yours, buddy. Thank you very much, Bob. Max, you're drenched in Gatorade. You're drenched in chocolate syrup right now. You've accomplished... Yeah, we'll let the crowd lay out. Uh, round two. And more. Three, four. They shipped like 200 bottles of this stuff. There is a human being under there. Oh. There goes the suit. Max, you've accomplished a lot of lofty stuff in your career. Where does a no-hitter slot into that list? I mean, it's right up there. Uh, th that's a great team. Uh, they came out aggressive. Uh, they were really coming at me early in the count. Uh, they hit a few ball hard, a few balls hard, and uh, we were able to catch them. Mikey Taylor made some great plays out there. And then, uh, you know, the offense went to work. Gave me a break there in the sixth. And I felt like I was able to get some rest. And then, you know, coming out for the seventh, you hear the crowd going nuts. You know, everybody starts getting on their feet, starts cheering for all those two strike counts. I'm telling you, that just pulls me up on the mound. The longer they get, the more I want to do it. And I just was able to get down there and get nasty and uh, just find a way to finish out. What are you feeling as you take the mound for the ninth inning? Just, let's go. Let's go. Let's get on the mound. I'm coming after you. I know what's on the line. Willie's back there. He's calling a great game. Just follow his game plan. And things we talked about before the game, just let's be aggressive. I know my fastball is ready. And let's just go. Pedro Alvarez grounds one into the hole there on the right side to end the seventh inning, I believe. Right. What do you, what's your thought process as that play is playing out? Well, when I saw it, uh, you know, instantly off the bat, I thought it was, you know, it was an easy out. And then I realized how the shift was played. And, and then all of a sudden, I see Desi flying across the infield to try to d rob that. And then, obviously, SB makes a great play, and then he turns his quick hands and fires to the first, and we're able to get him by a step. And, man, that was just a great play. You hit Tabata there with two outs in the ninth inning, a pitch away from a perfect game. You settle, settle for the no-hitter. Does that matter at all to you? Is there is there much of a loss? I mean, there is, but just because you're so close, you know, you're with two strikes from away, you're one strike away from a perfect game. But you know, just to be able to get a no-hitter in front of these fans, everybody cheering behind me, it's just nothing better. There's nothing. Max, you've retired 54 of the last 57 batters that you've faced. You've allowed one hit in your last 18 innings. How do you explain this? I'm just locked. You know, I got a good game plan. My catchers are behind there. They're calling great games. The offense is showing up when I, need, when I go out there and pitch. We're just playing good team baseball. And everybody's confident that we're going to go out there. We're just going to win. Congratulations, Max. Thank you very much. Bob, back up to you.